Before I take the chair as Speaker-elect, I wish first to thank the House for the honour that it has again bestowed upon me. I am aware that it is the greatest honour it can give to any of its members. <laughs> the Prime Minister. Mr, Mr Speaker-elect, on behalf of the whole House, may I congratulate you on your re-election. At least someone got a landslide. <laughs> <laughs> Mr Speaker, it is customary on these occasions to congratulate the returning Prime Minister, and I absolutely do so. And I congratulate her on returning, and I'm sure she will agree with me that democracy is a wondrous thing and can throw up some very unexpected results. <laughs> And I'm sure we all look forward to welcoming the Queen's speech just as soon as the coalition of chaos has been negotiated. <laughs> Mr Speaker, I just let the House know and the rest of the nation know that if that's not possible, the Labour Party stands ready to offer strong and stable leadership in the national interest. 